cash, absolute king and the lifeblood of any business. But not a lot of people understand the link between cash and profit. And I think it's important to understand that profits, as usually reported in your P&Ls, is driven by something called accrual. Accrual accounting is based on a concept called the matching principle. And the matching principle is designed to take the expenses incurred in a period and match it to the income derived in that period. So for example, if we take a timeline, and we have this as April through to March, there's a whole lot of expenditure and income that gets incurred in this 12 month period. So let's say, for example, here in March, you get paid 20,000, uh, sorry, April, you get paid $20,000 for an invoice. But that invoice gets paid based on work that was done in the prior year. So when we come to do the profit, we have to bring the $20,000 received in April and accrue it back into March the year before. So often when you get to look at the P&L, there might be a profit of say, in this case, $20,000. First question we usually hear clients say is, I've got a profit of $20,000, where's it gone? Well, this is often tied up in the accrual base. So in this case, our profit for $20,000 is sitting here in April. And this is normally represented in the balance sheet as a debtor or accounts receivable. So when you look at your profit, your profit that's generated doesn't necessarily align to the cash you've generated because it's trying to match the income and expenditure in the period in which it's incurred. And that's how we calculate tax. Cash flow is much more important. Cash flow says $20,000 turned up in April based on all the sales I made up to the 31st of March and now I've got paid for it. Cash flow can also work in the negative if you're in a high cash industry, say for example like a cafe. You can make $20,000 worth of income in one month and think, this is great, but what happens if you have your suppliers being paid the 20th of the month following is in May, you then have $10,000 of expenses. So the $20,000 income you receive from selling all your product has to then pay $10,000 out the month after. So when you're looking at your business and the day-to-day -day operations, cash flow is a lot more important than working out what the tax is. Tax is about matching, cash flow is about survival.